ITV4 News at 5 starts now. First tonight, claims of rampant sexual harassment at a former Waikiki hotspot. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. The lurid details of a federal lawsuit lays out groping, grabbing, even having sex with members of management on the job during working hours. KITV4's Laura Yamada has our top story on the claims against senior frogs. They even market themselves as a girls gone wild type environment, and it just crossed the line. In the pages of a federal lawsuit filed on Friday, the details of gross sexual harassment allegedly playing out behind the doors of senior frogs. The Mexican restaurant known for big parties and young crowds shut down its Waikiki location at the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center in August, saying on its Facebook page it had every intention of reopening. But Amrita Malik of the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission says ever since the place opened in 2007, female employees have suffered severe sexual harassment from male staff, supervisors and more. We saw that this discriminatory behavior permeated to the highest levels of management. We're talking about their senior level executives based out of their headquarters in Cancun. The lawsuit says managers hired by Lorana Hawaii, the restaurant chain's business branch, repeatedly grabbed the women's breast and buttocks, demanded sex and favors, even ordered the women to have sex with high-level executives. And when female staff complained, they had their hours cut or were fired. Now, according to the lawsuit, the young women say they complained to management, to upper management, and then to human resources employees hired by Altris here on Kapiolani Boulevard. But they say even then, the harassment didn't stop. And as a result, the harassment continued, the discrimination continued unchecked. Aldra sent us this statement saying the company provided payroll and administrative services to senior frogs, adding, we never provided or managed staff and had no involvement in restaurant operations. We've been named in this suit simply because our name was on the paychecks. Now, we repeatedly tried to reach lawyers for Lorana Hawaii or Senior Frogs today with no response. Ultra CEO Baron Gus also told the paper today he expects the company will be dismissed from the lawsuit, while the EEOC stands by their claim that staff hired for human resources failed to properly handle those complaints. Back to you. All right, thank you.